Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. Man, I appreciate everybody for clicking on this video. Make sure you hit that like button and also hit that bell if you haven't subscribed already. That way you don't miss the video, man. I greatly appreciate you. I hope everybody's having a beautiful, blessed day, full of good energy, good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Today I want to talk about three things that could possibly be draining your energy. Okay, guys, and I, I want you to be aware of this. That way it can save you your own energy. So make sure y'all stick around for the whole video because we're going to tap in. All right, one of, the, one of the main things that drains your energy, all right, this would be number one, is you doing too much. And I know that sounds like a no-brainer, but I'm talking about on the spiritual aspect as well. You doing too much, meaning you're worrying about trying to be the best version of yourself too much to the point where it starts to drain your energy okay guys you have to be mindful of that too much of anything is a bad thing okay it can hurt you it can harm you i know guys once you wake up and, and you know we have all these things all this knowledge and light codes running through our mind and it's like if we're not trying to solve all the problems, this is, we're always trying to worry about the next thing that's going on in the world and, you know, trying to decipher that. And that can wear you out. Sometimes you got to just take a break from all of that and do something that you enjoy. All right. Tap back into yourself. Gr ground yourself again. Go back into your childlike self and take your mind off of the problems of the world. All these things that's going on right now in the world and you know, all these tragic stories that happen. And sometimes just knowing this new information of waking up, you know, it can overwhelm you. You're worrying about it too much. Learn to take a break. Okay, taking a break is good. Yeah, we want to be on our grind, but also we have to know how to rest. Rest is a part of growing as well. Spiritual evolution requires balance. Okay, you got to have work and rest. And we don't want to get to the point where we're trying to be the best version of ourselves spiritually so much that we actually start to create our own downfall. Our energy actually starts to drop and we zap ourselves. Okay, guys, so I want you to understand this. Whatever you got going on right now, and if you feel like your energy is, is wearing down, take a break. It's okay, man. It's all right. You know, you can get back on the grind later, but take some time out for yourself to rest. And to have fun, enjoy yourself. Okay, be free. Don't put yourself in another prison. All right? Waking up means that you're free from the shackles. But also, you don't want to put yourself back in a prison by worrying about things. Having fear, having stress. Okay, relax. The second thing that might be draining your energy, guys, and this one is very important. This can apply for anybody. Is your diet. What you put inside your temple. Okay, understand as soon as you put something inside of you, you eat something, you're at the mercy of that object. Okay, you have no more control, no more power after that. Whatever you put in your body, it's going to do what it do. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand this. Treat yourself like a king, like a queen. Love yourself. Understand you can't just put anything in your temple. All right, especially foods that have no nutritional value. Understand, if it don't have nutritional value, then that means it's a it's a parasite. Okay? If something is not giving you energy, it's taken away from you. So you have to realize this. A lot of foods, processed foods, a lot of chemicals, some of those chemicals act as a parasite in your body. Right? And it'll drain your energy. This is why it's important for you to eat natural foods. Try to find natural the best way you can. I know it's hard nowadays because everything is modified. But, you know, just eating modified foods. There is some piece of authenticity in that food, right? Even if it's modified. So that's better than eating processed. But try your best to try to find something that's organic. You know, go to a farmer's market or grow your own food. Because understand, when you put things in your body that's of the earth... That, that's made up of the elements of the sun, the earth, and, you know, the molecules in the air, the water. That's going to give you life. 
okay? Because we come from Mother Nature. Mother Nature is going to nurture us. It's going to give us what we need. So you realize when you eat these foods, it gives you energy. When you eat fruits, it gives you energy. You know, if you're eating food and you feel tired and drowsy, you got that itis at the words, that lets you know that it's, it's acting as a parasite. Because your body has to spend its resources to break down whatever you just put in your body. Okay, pay attention to how you feel. How you feel is going to tell you what's going on. Okay, we don't have these feelings for no reason. It's letting us know, you know, what type of energy shifts are happening inside of us. Go within. Pay attention. All right. I know sometimes the food might be good. You know, it's not good for you, but it tastes good. Right. And that's the trick. It tastes good to keep you coming back. But you don't understand that you're actually losing resources. You're actually draining your battery. OK, so be aware of that. Catch yourself in the present moment. I'm not saying you got to, you know, be a health freak and eat healthy every single day. There's times where you can, you know, have a cheat day and you know enjoy yourself but for the most part i go by the 80 20 rule 80 percent of my diet is clean and then the other 20 percent will be you know me just enjoying myself treating myself okay this is all about spiritual evolution you got to have balance you got to have balance within yourself you can't just be one-sided okay because this is when you throw your balance off and you lose harmony with inside yourself and the third thing that could be draining your energy guys is your attitude how you think, you know, how, how you use your words to create your reality, all right, to put you on a path for your day. You got to pay attention to how you speak to yourself, how you speak to others, how others speak to you, how you're thinking, you know, what type of thoughts are you having when you wake up? Are you dwelling on negative thoughts too much? You know, gossiping, are you dwelling on gossip, negative Affirmations about other people News You know Negative news All these things play a part in your energy guys your, your spirit And sometimes we get complacent And we don't realize Why we're feeling tired Why we're feeling drained Why we feel unmotivated It's because of the things you surround yourself with It's the frequencies and vibrations that you're indulging in It's the The energy and time you're giving to those negative thoughts all right, guys, you have to put a stop to that the best way you can. You know, I got some homework for y'all. This is a challenge that I used to do all the time. And it's try to go through your whole day without one negative thought. Right. And that, that might seem impossible for some, but just I'm going to tell you how to do it. Whenever you have a negative thought, you catch it right there and you eradicate it. Right. You flip it to something positive. You be an alchemist. Right, alchemy is changing one substance into another. So you change that negative thought into a positive. When you have a negative thought, try to find the good in that negative. All right, because there's good and bad in every situation. So whenever you have a negative thought about something, instead of dwelling on the negative aspect of it, try to find the positive. Right, for instance, let's say you got negative thoughts about going to work today. Ah, oh, man, I don't feel like getting up going to work. You know what I'm saying? Instead of you thinking like that, try to flip it into a positive and say, well, I got a job. You know, I'm able to support myself, my family. I'm able to feed myself. You feel what I'm saying? I woke up today to even be able to go to work. My body is able to do the work that I need to. I can move. I can walk. I can breathe. Right. Try to flip it to a positive. That's going to change your whole perception of your day. OK, your whole perspective of that situation. And you're going to feel a lot better about yourself coming out of that situation. You feel what I'm saying? And this takes practice, guys. This is a muscle you have to exercise. You have to exercise being able to change negative thoughts to positive thoughts. Being able to transform your energy at, at a moment's notice. All right? That's a, that's a muscle you have to exercise. That is a skill. The more you practice, the better you get at it. Okay? So, don't just think that... You know, you going through life and, and this negative thought has to stay there. You have to dwell on it. No, you don't. You can change it. You can flip it. All right? What what good does it serve us to, to dwell on a negative thought? Something that hasn't happened or something that we feel like 
isn't going right in our life. Wouldn't it be better just to change that situation? Right? You are in control of your life. So instead of you letting that drain you, okay, because that's taking energy from you. When you dwell on those negative thoughts, fear, negativity, anxiety, all those come from a low vibration, a lower version of yourself. Your energy, your frequency has to drop down to a lower level to experience those emotions. So you are literally draining your energy. You feel what I'm saying? And those thoughts can act as a parasite. Negative thoughts, negative energy can act as a parasite. Okay, parasites aren't just the little worms that you see, you know, microscopic worms. It's also spiritual parasites, mental parasites. All right, anything that drains your energy is considered a parasite and doesn't give you anything back in return. It's parasitic in nature. So you have the power, man, to defeat all of these aspects that's going to try to drain your battery and zap you clean. All right. You got to protect yourself, though. And one way to protect yourself is to identify what's going on, being aware of what's going on so that you can, you know, better fight it. You have the tools, you have the knowledge to stop it. All right. And that's why I'm making this video, guys, because sometimes we go through life just, you know, doing our everyday routine and don't realize, you know, what we're indulging in, what thoughts we're having. We just let it ride and then wonder why we wonder why our future isn't the future that we want. Remember, you're jumping into timelines every single day by how you think and the way of your frequency. All right. So peep that. I just want to make this video. I don't want to be too long, but I hope this resonated with you guys. Right. Pay attention to your diet, what you put in your temple. Take a break. Don't overwhelm yourself, you know, with all of this spiritual evolution and being in your higher self so much. All right. Learn to have balance and enjoy yourself. Have hobbies. And last but not least, don't dwell on negative thoughts. Things that drain you. All right. Find the positive. Be an alchemist. With that being said, if you guys want to donate to the channel, I'll leave all my links in the description and in my pinned comments. Also, if you need a consultation, you want to speak to your boy, I'll leave a link for that as well. That being said, y'all have a beautiful day and I'm out. Peace.